The All India Mahila Congress AIMC, also referred to as Mahila Congress, is the women's wing of the Indian National Congress Party. Sushmita Dev, MP as the current president, in the beginning, Mahila Congress was more of a social organization, rather than a political one, carrying out various activities of women and child welfare like setting up of an All India Society for Welfare of Women and Children called Rashini, to render voluntary services in health, education, and preventive care etc. to women of neglected and overcrowded localities along with a centre for training of women in tailoring and handicrafts. All India Society for the Welfare of Women and Children under the umbrella of the Mahila Congress was registered in May, 1984. Rashini participated in the relief work provided by Mahila Congress after the national calamities. A project called MAMTA was also launched to start creche or day care centres for the children of working mothers. Legal Aid for Women or Law Wing was inaugurated on 18 April 1984. Law Wing organised conferences on women related issues. Shri P. V. Narasimha Rao constituted a committee under the chairmanship of Dr. Rajendra Kumari Bajpai to look into the constitution and functioning of All India Mahila Congress and to make suggestions to revitalize and strengthen it in the light of SMT. Mira Kumar's report of a committee which was appointed to go into the structure, functioning and status of All India Mahila Congress and to review the interrelationship of all the frontal organizations and cells as well as their relationship with the parent body. History Pre-independence In 1907 on 21 August at the International Socialist Conference in Stuttgart, Germany, Bikaiji Kama raised and unfurled what she called the first flag of independence. In 1911 Annie Besant along with Pandit Maidan Mohan Malviya helped establish what we today know as the Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi. In 1916 Annie Besant established the Indian Home Rule League at Ajar Madras. In 1917 Annie Besant was elected the first woman president of the Indian National Congress. In 1918 from 26 to 31 August, Bombay Congress session, Sarojini Naidu put forward proposal for women's right to vote. It was passed in the Aligarh session of the Congress with virtually no dissent. In 1925 Sarojini Naidu became the first Indian woman to occupy the position of President of the Indian National Congress. In 1926 Kamaladevi Chattopadhyay was the first woman candidate for the Legislative Assembly. In 1937 Vijaya Laxmi Pandit was elected to the United Provinces Legislature and became the first woman in India to hold a cabinet post. In 1940 Suketa Kriplani became the first head of the Women's Department of the Congress. In 1942, Usha Mehta organised and hoisted the Indian flag at a rally when most of the senior leaders, including Gandhi were arrested. In 1942, Usha Mehta established a clandestine radio station which broadcast messages from Gandhi and other leaders, called Secret Congress Radio. In 1942, Aruna Asaf Ali was dubbed as the heroine of 1942 movement for her bravery in the face of danger and is popularly known to have hoisted the flag at the Gawalia tank maiden in Bombay. In 1942, Matangini Hazra, a widow aged 72, picked up the Congress flag September 29, 1942, in Midnapur, W.B., and led a battalion in the name of Gandhi and attacked the symbols of power, police station and courts. In 1942, Captain Lakshmi Sagal was made in charge of establishing and leading the Rani of Jhansi Regiment, comprising women soldiers. In 1945–46, Hansa Mehta became the president of All India Women's Conference and in her presidential address at the All India Women's Conference Convention held in Hyderabad, she proposed a charter of women's rights. In 1946, a newly formed constituent assembly came together to debate and draft a constitution for a soon-to-be independent India. Among the 299 India, 15 were women who had either been voted or chosen to represent their provinces. Post-independence <inaudible> Early years 
In 1947, August the first flag that flew over Parliament was presented on behalf of the women of India to the newly independent nation. During 1947–61, Vijaya Lakshmi Pandit, entered the diplomatic services and was the first woman ambassador in the world who attained the position in three countries, Moscow 1947–49, Washington 1949–51 and Ireland 1955–61. In 1947–48 Vijaya Lakshmi Pandit as the Indian delegate on the United Nations Commission on Human Rights in, Hansa Mehta was responsible for changing the language of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights from all men are created equal Eleanor Roosevelt's preferred phrase to all human beings, highlighting the need for gender equality. In 1947, Sarojini Naidu became the first woman to be appointed governor of United Provinces of Agra and Oudh. In 1952, Women's Wing of the Congress was established and called the Women's Cell. In 1953–54, Vijaya Lakshmi Pandit became the first woman president of the United Nations General Assembly. In 1954, Aruna Asaf Ali established the National Federation of Indian Women. In 1957, Durgabai Deshmukh became a Lok Sabha member as well as a member of the Planning Commission of India. In 1963–67, Suketa Kriplani became the first Chief Minister of UP and the first woman to be elected as the Chief Minister of any state of India. In 1969, Indira Gandhi nationalised 14 major commercial banks. In 1970, the Green Revolution in India culminated under Indira Gandhi's government and transformed the country from a nation heavily reliant on imported grains and prone to famines to eventually achieving its goal of food security. In 1971, on 27 March 1971, the Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi, expressed full support of her government to the Bangladeshi struggle for independence. India sent its troops to fight against the Pakistani forces and also launched a global diplomatic offensive to help create Bangladesh. In 1974, the 18th of May, under SMT. Indira Gandhi's leadership, India successfully tested the first indigenously designed nuclear explosive thus laying the foundation of an effective nuclear deterrent against the country's enemies. In 1980–84, Indira Gandhi became the second longest serving Prime Minister of India and the only woman to hold the office. <laughs> foundation It was given a separate entity in 1983, with the status of a frontal organization of the AICC from a women's cell or a women's wing of 1952. A meeting of Congresswomen attending the AICC session was held at Shunmagam Hall, Bombay on 21 October 1983 along with the then Prime Minister, Indira Gandhi. A meeting of the state conveners of the Congress Women's Front was also held during the AICC session with Rajiv Gandhi, the then General Secretary, AICC. SMT, Begum Abida Ahmed was the chairperson of the cell and SMT. Margaret Alwa was the convener. A constitution review committee was constituted to make its functioning more dynamic. The members of the committee were, SMT. Begum Abida Ahmed, MP, Chairperson Women's Front, SMT. Margaret Alva, MP, Convener, Women's Front, Miss Mamuda Begum, Joint Secretary AICC, SMT. Sunanda Bandari, Advocate, SMT. Vidyawati Chaturvedi, MP, Former Chairperson Women's Wing, and SMT. M. Chandrasekhar, MP, Member Parliamentary Board. A provision was made to start a membership drive separately. Just before the plenary session in Calcutta, Mahila Congress new headquarters was inaugurated at No. 1 Takatora Road, New Delhi on 17 November 1983. A two-day national convention of Mahila Congress was held at Bangalore on 15–16 September 1984. A new constitution was approved and adopted at the convention to convert the Congress Mahila cell into a frontal organization and name it as All India Mahila Congress. The All India Mahila Congress started functioning as an independent frontal organization with the approval of AICC president from 1984 at national level and spread to state, district, mandal and block level. Topic: <laughs> Modern Era. 
In 1992 the one-third reservation for women in Panchayati Raj came through during Shri P. V. Narasimha Rao's tenure, as Indian National Congress Prime Minister. India is one of the few countries in the world to have this put the number of women who are currently are elected to PRIs. In 2007 SMT. Pratibha Patil became the first woman president of India. In 2009, during the tenure of UPA II, SMT. Mira Kumar was elected unopposed as the first woman speaker of the Lok Sabha. In 2010, the Women's Reservation Bill WRB, which gives 33.33% reservation for women at all levels of Indian politics, was passed by an overwhelming majority in the Rajya Sabha. In 2017, Mahila Congress ran a nationwide drive for signatures for hashtag women for 33% campaign and urged the National Democratic Alliance government to not only pass the bill in parliament but also implement it before 2019 general elections. On 20 September 2017, Sonia Gandhi, the then President Indian National Congress, wrote to Prime Minister Narendra Modi asking him to bring the WRB to floor at earliest, promising bipartisan support on this bill. On 21 September 2017, AIMC has collected 32 lakh plus signatures countrywide under the signature campaign. On 23 October 2017, AIMC President Sushmita Dev led a delegation of MC team and met Humble President of India with a petition requesting his support for hashtag women for 33% to be tabled and passed in Parliament in the next session. On 31 October 2017, Mahila Congress delegation submitted a demand to the Prime Minister with local DC asking PM to pass the Women's Reservation Bill. On 19 November 2017, all Pradesh Mahila Congress delegations led by their presidents wrote to their chief ministers, requesting his support in urging Prime Minister Narendra Modi to introduce and pass the WRB in upcoming session of Parliament. On 9 December 2017, all Pradesh Mahila Congress delegations led by their presidents protested against the state chief ministers who did not grant them an audience for meeting regarding WRB in November. On 8 March 2018, All India Mahila Congress protested against GOVT outside Parliament under the leadership of AIMC President Sushmita Dev. <laughs> <laughs> List of previous presidents <laughs> Structure and composition Topic. Committees It is a four-tier organization. Given below is a descending order of committees. All India Mahila Congress – Organization The National Council The Pradesh – Territorial Mahila Congress Committees The District – City Mahila Congress Committee The Block – Ward Mahila Congress Committee Topic: State and territorial units. The regional units are known as Pradesh Mahila Congress Committees or simply PMCs. Topic: See also. Indian National Congress. Indian Youth Congress. National Students Union of India.